Johnny Murta. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, the <Bob. laughs> Oh, no, I got home. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very special Galway and Goodwood Racing Quiz. I'm Paddy Parr and tonight our two teams will be looking ahead to the two big summer festivals on either side of the Irish Sea. They shall be pitting their wits against each other to try and get their hands on the much coveted Paddy Parr Pants Trophy. First up, captain on the comeback trail massively after humiliation in the Royal Ascot Quiz. Please welcome Ruby Walsh. And Ruby's joined this time by none other than David Jennings and Kevin O'Ryan. <laughs> and looking to cement his almost legendary unbeaten status <laughs> is a challenger captain, Fran Berry. <laughs> and completing Fran's team, we have Kate Harrington and Shane Foley. <laughs> so let's get ready to rumble. First round is called And They're Off, and it's a buzzer round, so our contestants will have to buzz first if they know the answer. But be careful, because a wrong answer could throw the question across to the other team. You can't confer when you buzz yourself, but when it gets thrown across, conferring is allowed. Right, so fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here comes the first question. Other than Ansar, name the only other horse to win the Galway Plate more than once. Fran. Thomas Edison. Incorrect. We'll throw it across. Oh, my plate. Life and art. You never Life ran over fences. <laughs> <laughs> Life of a Lord is correct. Yes, we got one, thank God. First blood to Ruby. Oh I told you to be honest. You told like a meds on your mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Only one horse has won the Nassau Stakes three times. Name her. Kevin. Midday. Correct. Boom. Well done. We're back, son. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Are we getting carried away now? Did a good start the last time as well. Here's question three. Name the last British trained winner of the Galway Hurdle. Ruby. I know it. I know it. Ah! Jesus, uh, Graham Lee rode it. The horse that made run in the, goal, in the champion hurdle after. White face. I know it. I'm going to have to give you a push. Over her. Ah. Did you tell him? Yes, he yeah, did. He yeah. whispered. Yeah. 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 There was a I actually trust the integrity of Ruby Walsh. I'm going to give him the well point. Done. Yeah, well done. Oh, uh, thank you. Back at the mothers, please. Which Irish trained horse won the 2020 Malcolm Stakes for Michael O'Callaghan? Kevin. Steel Bull. Steel Bull is correct. Just checking. Your buzzers are working, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. Who is the only jockey to ride Ansar more than once to win at the Galway Festival? David, David. Casey. Nope. No, you muppet. Throw it across. Paul Carberry. Correct. Well done. Yay. You're off and running. Well done. <laughs> Next question. Uh, which flat jockey won the inaugural Pat Smullen Memorial Perpetual Trophy at the 2021 Galway Festival? David. Oh. <laughs> Completely misunderstood the question there. Um, I will go for Billy Lee. Incorrect. We throw it Shane Keane. Colin Keane. Correct, Shane. Well done. Other than Aidan O'Brien, only one other Irish trainer has won the Goodwood Cup in the past 40 years. Fran. John Ox. John Ox is correct. Well done. Not so quiet now, Kevin, or not so boisterous <laughs> now, yeah. He wouldn't right. listen to him at all with Colin Keane. Yeah. <laughs> You're not meant to tell him. <laughs> You're meant to pause for, yourself. For which previous winner of the race did Ouija Board beat in a photo finish when winning the 2006 Nassau Stakes? David. Alexander Golden. Is correct. Well done. Well done, Dave. All is forgiven. Well done. Since 1989, three amateur jockeys have won the Galway Hurdle. Patrick Mullins has won. Name either of the other two. David. Paul Townend, no. Incorrect. He's amateur. He's an apprentice. An amateur. Now we have a chance here. Amateur. Go on, Amateurs. Jamie Codd. Incorrect. It was Fran Flood and Philip Fenton. Next question. Fingers on buzzers, Kevin, please. That was your generation. How did you not get that? <laughs> oh. Oh. That was some blow, wasn't it? Here, Ke Kev had heard hurl and that was it. He's over. <laughs> <laughs> Broke out the sweat. Final question of the round. Fingers and buzzers, please. Name the feature handicap run on the final day of Glorious Goodwood every year. Fran. Stewart's Cup. Stewart's Cup is well done, correct. Well done. Well played both teams. At the end of that round, Fran's team has four points and Ruby's team leads with five points. 
The next round sees our guests choose a number from the board to try and answer a question about the photo that's revealed. There's no conferring, but a wrong answer can go across for the other team to steal. David, you're up first, so uh, if you'd like to choose a number, please. I'll take number two, please, Paddy. Number two. Who's this winning the 2006 Goodwood Cup on board Yates? It's Johnny Murta. Oh, Jesus Christ, the pub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I Big got home. <laughs> it's, yes, Fran. His bad eyesight. Well, Jan's McCannan. MJ Canan. He's blind. MJ Canan is correct. I can't see any of his face there. <laughs> Kate, your turn to pick a number, please. I will go at number six, please. Number Kate, six. you come back out here. <laughs> Name this jockey lording it in the Galway plate. Uh, Donna Myler. Correct. Well done. Well done. Well done. Kevin, you're up next. Four, please, Paddy. Right, that's Johnny Burke on the right, but which jockey is on the left in the yellow colours? Hmm. That's not easy, Kev. You only want these, do you? God. Dusty, give me those glasses, please. <laughs> Shane Shorthall. Correct, it is Shane Shorthall. Well done. <laughs> Lucky guess. Shane, yeah. Shane, your go. I'll choose number one. Number one, okay. Name the horse that Richard Hughes is pictured riding here at Royal Goodwood. Not at Royal Goodwood, <laughs> at Goodwood. <laughs> I, I know it, but I. I I can't obviously tell Shane or can I referee? You can't. No. <laughs> it's not Ivor Wood. No. No. Oh, I don't recognise the colours. Have the colours been doctor? Yeah, the, the colours must have been changed, yeah. No. Li li Liberland. No, it wasn't. Liberland. It was Bel Belvoir Bay. Who? Ah, Belvoir Bay. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Belvoir Bay. How did that win? I don't know, I won a race. It turned out. Won a race. It says it on his card, it Bell must be true. Bay. Jesus. 50 right. A 50 to 80 on the Tuesday. Richard one. Hughes himself wouldn't have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, the captains. Ruby, what one are you going for? I am going to go for the bottom one, five. Name this jockey winning on board at Lumley Lad at the 2004 Galway Festival. Shea Barry. Shea Barry is correct. Well done. Well done. One of and Fran, Queen 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 Queen. that leaves you at number three. Name this jockey en route to winning the Nassau Stakes. Jerry Murta. Correct. Well done. OK, that's the end of that round. So, Fran, Some you scored like. three. <laughs> Shea Parry, Johnny Martin. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did get Mick Canaan. It, uh, you are a jump jockey. I couldn't see the bloody thing from Mick Canaan. <laughs> well, that's the end of that round. As you can see, the scores are levels, you devils. Seven points each. <laughs> so, on to round three, and it is beat the drop this time. So, in front of you, you have 15 balls, and you have to put them in a box that you think matches the correct answer to the questions. You can spread the balls across all three boxes, but you can only take the balls from the correct box through to the next question. Does that make sense? We did it the last time we made a ball to it. Yeah, OK, so a ball, <laughs> ball to see what you did there, see what you did there. Right, late. obviously, Ruby, they're in front of you, so your team's going first. So, here is your first question. How many times has Ansar won at the Galway Festival? Is it A5, B6, or C6? Seven. He won two plates. Yeah. Casey and O'Regan. Paul Carberry won them twice. It's four. Did he win the? He won the amateur handicap. Or no, the amateur he didn't made, win the amateur didn't handicap. Amateur he didn't win the amateur made. No. Derby well did bad amateurs around that period. Oh, hold on a second. Whoa, wait. No, but did he win the maiden hurdle the same year he Gold won the hurdle? Festival. Golly Festival. Didn't he, Golly twice Festival. One, didn't he win twice in the one week? He did, yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> if you won twice, so you won two Galway hurdles. Your... Casey and Dennis are Galway will be over by the time you so get two Galway <laughs> players, one Galway hurdle. You were thinking you don't know, do we need some balls now. <laughs> <laughs> two, four, six, two, four, five. I think it's six. You think it's what? I think it's six, yeah, I think it's right, six. So that's three each in there. In you six. think it's five. We'll give you five. Just leave two. It could be seven. seven. No, no, it's not seven. It's definitely not seven. OK. It's not seven. Final answer. I can tell you that Ansar won at the Galway Festival a total of seven times. Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant. Is that a joke? No, genuinely. So you get to take two balls through can to the next question. Can we take two on that one? <laughs> that question, that round, can we take two? Ke Kevin, were you working there at the time? I you? was, yeah, I wouldn't have a snack on him. He didn't win seven times. Right, second question. Which of these trainers has won the Sussex Stakes on the most occasions? Is it A, Aidan O'Brien, B, Sir Henry Cecil, or C, Richard Hannan Sr.? Oh, do you think so? Moving on. Do you think so? Absolutely, sir. So Richard Hannan has won it three times, Aidan O'Brien has won it five times, but Sir Henry Cecil has won it seven times. Well, the answer is B. 
Well done, Ruby. Pity we didn't have a few more balls. No, Pity I was listening to pair him up as the last time. Come on. <laughs> right, 2011. Dermot Weld broke the record for the amount of winners at a single Galway festival. But how many winners did he have that year? Is it A, 14, B, 17, or C, 19? 17. I, I would be 100%. The deputy editor of the Racing Post and the man who used to work for him and is basically the jockey's <laughs> agent for all his riders are both convinced at 17. 17. So I will, have, I will row along with my two esteemed <laughs> colleagues. I'm wondering why I didn't get Gary O'Brien and Richie Forrestal, but I will take these two and we'll go <laughs> with them. Well, I can tell you the Dermot Weld trained a total of 17 winners that week, so the answer was B, so well done. So, Fran, over to your team now. Let's see you get on. Your first question is, how many times did Frankel win the Sussex Stakes? Is it A, none, B, one, or C, two? Catford Cliffs drifted across the track one day and he beat him, so it's either once or twice. So it's not none, then, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, don't be helping him, Paddy. Um, well, he's just said it, I'm just explaining. Yeah, We'd have 15 balls after have this. To go back. Yeah, maybe once. Eight Let's seven. get moving. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't think he, he, we definitely want Goodwood, so no, of course, going to the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been very good, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what do you think? Two, three, five, three, six. No, I definitely wonder. Okay, fine. So you're saying you're splitting between B and C. Okay, fine. Well, he uh, he actually won the Sussex Stakes twice, so the answer is C. I so you seven, take how many balls are in C? Seven. Seven balls through to the next question. Right, here's your second question. Which of these jockeys has won the Galway hurdle the most? Is it A, Davy Russell, B, Patrick Mullins, or C, Robbie Power? Hmm. Robbie won it for Mick Winters, didn't he? Miss, Miss United and for Tony. Patrick has definitely won it twice. Patrick's definitely won it, yeah, he won it with Sharjah and last year. Why are you looking at us for? <laughs> he's hardly going to help you. He's only, only, only going to put right. you off. Well, if you think Patrick's twice and Robbie's twice, it's Davy probably by the process elimination. Rabbit fits. But the, Davy. Somebody's got to win more, the most of the whole lot. Somebody yeah, take know, control right? of that team, for God's sake. What's the Russell? We can only say one for Russell. I got a couple of nice percentages there. Russell winning the Galway Hurdle. <laughs> <laughs> what did Russell win on? Yeah. There's got to be somebody's got to win the most of. I would treat him. I know that for a long We don't know, Fran. That's why we're going to spend it. <laughs> three there and one here. Three. See, the gambler's one. coming out new. You just want to go three. all in, don't you? Three, three there. <laughs> we just what, go three? like. A... Okay, one there. <laughs> there you go. He's won it definitely. Right. Go. Is that your final? Your... No, I know. This isn't right. <laughs> well, hang on. I... No, we're, we're out. We're, we're out. We're, 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 we're done. We're done. Go, Grant. Okay, fine. When we lose this, it's not my fault. I can tell you that Davy Russell and Robbie Power both have two winners apiece, but Patrick Mullins has three. Yes! Yeah! So... Oh! We go on. We go on. So. <laughs> It means you take one you ball. You said two, though. I said two, but I was like all about this. Cause the, 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 I think your logic was sound. Very old well, yeah. Westlake. Right. Yeah. Doing a very hard part of rugged the ball out. Sarge won it twice. Araman. Araman, Sarge and Saldier. He's won three out of the last four runnings of it. In the heel of the hunt, after that marathon question, you take one ball through to the final question. Oh, right. We're going to get yeah. zero. OK, so here you go. You're Third and final question, Double Trigger won the Goodwood Cup on how many occasions? Is it A1, B2 or C3? Why didn't we get that fucking the first thing? Confident sure no. Yeah. Sure sure three. Yeah. But sure. I can tell you that Double Trigger won the Goodwood Cup a grand total of three times. So the answer was C. So well done, you get one point. Well done. Uh, How many won you had? Not bad. Now at the end of that round, Thank God we finally got to the end of that round. <laughs> Fran's team has eight points, but Ruby's team has nine. Yeah. Round four is called Staying On. In this round, we're looking back at highlights from the Galway and Goodwood festivals of yesteryear. And our teams will watch a short highlights reel and then have three questions to answer at the end, some of which will be observational. So everybody, you need to watch very closely. Fran, your team's up first this time and you've got the Galway festival. So let's take a look at this.
Okay, so here is your first question. Who owned the 2019 Galway Plate winner? Oh, Galway Plate. Oh, JP McManus, early doors. Incorrect. <laughs> 2019. John Bresnan. No. no, it was Galway Plate. Oh, you said Galway Plate. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's late. <laughs> si Simon Maneer and Isaac Swade in the green corner. Oh, you saw right. Right. Barice was the horse, correct. Question two. Which English raider was runner up from? Who Tr even had a runner? <laughs> Tricky yeah. questions. <laughs> Was there any flat racing in Galway <laughs> that year and all? <laughs> uh, was it just all? Is this a jump quiz or a flat? Well, the next question is who finished third. I'm going to say um, Black Court. Correct. Well oh, done. Hey. Totally jammy, but well, well done. done. You'll take it. And here's your final like, question. Remember she rode there? And yeah. I was like, this is uh, the final question, clearly the answer is no, Shane. Uh, <laughs> who did we see winning the Galway Hurdle under Robbie Power? I, here you go. Tudor City. Tudor City is well correct. Yeah. So well done. Two out of three ain't bad. So two points in that round. Well done, Kate. Hey, that was a fair pick up now. Yeah. <laughs> really so awesome. It was Galway for them. It's a good one for you, lads, Ruby. Watch closely. Okay, here are your questions, guys. Question one, which horse do we see Frankie Dettori doing his flying dismount from? It's a two-year-old that beat Berkshire Shadow. New mandate. Incorrect, it was Angel Blue. Angel Blue. Uh, question two, Alcohol Free won the Sussex from Poetic Flair, but who completed the tri-cast? I'm in the Scooby-Doo. Why even run the Hang on, we'll think of it in a minute. Process of elimination. Can we watch it again? No. <laughs> Go back to the guineas. Was double triggered hard now? Could have been. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Tad of Arius, no? Um, oh, Chinda. No, you don't have a, don't have a rash. He no, was a three-year-old last Snow year. Lantern. Uh, final right. question. <laughs> Who owned the horse that won despite trying to bite another horse during the race? Midland Park. Park. Correct. Thank well done. God we got one. One, you got one, so well done. At the end of that round, Ruby's team scored one point, but Fran's team scored two points, so we are neck and neck at ten points apiece. Yeah. So round five, which means we're on the home straight, and in this round, this is where one player from each team has 60 seconds to describe as many sport and pop culture names to their teammates. They come up on the screen in front of them, they can say use any words they want except the words that are actually up on the screen. So, Fran, do you want to go first? Yeah, why You're not? gonna go up yourself? Yeah. It's a tight call. Captain's gotta go. Captain's choice. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Your first clue is gonna come up just now and the timer starts now. Golf terms every two years. Uh, Augusta. Right a cup. Famous manager, Italian manager, Chelsea. Pass. Famous band from Liverpool, 1960s. The Beatles. Number one in the grid on a Formula One. Uh, Max Verstappen. No, Lewis uh, Hamilton. Position, they start with ah, the piece. Oh, the pole. The pole. Yeah. No. Okay. Go, 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 keep going. Go, go. Uh, Play Crow Park a couple of weeks ago. Kate, you were there. Ed Sheeran. Uh, pass. Uh, a trilogy of films were a very good book as well. Lord of the Rings. There you go. Uh, he got lost in an island and he caught a whale. Uh, pass. Pass. A uh, famous uh, baseball team in Boston. Boston Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, go on. Uh, he was uh, a <laughs> Scottish woman wrote a book, he was a wizard. Harry Potter. A basketball team in Chicago. Chicago Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> you can't give it that. Time's up, time's up. I'm going to put you out of your misery, Fran. <laughs> Disgraceful. Uh, like so three times it, you literally read out what was on the screen. Three times. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five points. He's Ruby, you got up yourself. Five to go. Six six to win. Six to win. 
One every ten seconds, Paddy. Uh, I, can't, here, I can't say what's on the screen. You no. can't say what's on the screen, right? <laughs> Take your time. But to describe what's on the screen. Yeah. Chicago Rebels. <laughs> Ruby, your time starts now. Pass. Singer in Vegas lately. Big voice. Mike Carey. He, he looked Band, on the screen. Uh, two brothers in it from the 90s, early 20s. Ross. No. Oasis. Yeah. Uh, he's a fictional character who could fly and never got any older. Cartoon character. Never aged. Oh, um, Peter Pan. Yeah. Uh, movie, Tom Cruise is in it. New one coming out Top next gun. week. Uh, the year after 1983. 1984. Snooker player, world champion. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Uh, sitcom from the 80s in London, Del Boy and Rodney. Only, Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> manager, <laughs> manager of Liverpool. Jurgen Young Clough. Uh, priest program Western Bad Bad Head. Uh, singer, one word. Sure. No, first letter is the first letter in the Adele. alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, American football team in Texas. Texas. Right, time's up, time's up, time's up. That'll do you. That'll do you. Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> it didn't it did matter. It's an American football team in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done. Uh, well played, Ruby. You needed six and you scored ten, Three. which means you've comfortably avenged your Royal Ascot defeat to Fran's team. Fran, that was just such a disappointing finish. You're meant to lead, you're meant to lead from the front. I expect more from a the captain. And a hole from the front. <laughs> Fran, you get the Why wooden spoons. I know. Okay, would you do the honours, please? And Ruby, you get the much coveted <laughs> brown you them, okay. pants <laughs> trophy. Well done, Ruby Walsh. Keep I love <laughs> Sorry, team. All right. So a huge thank you to all of our guests uh, for joining us. And I, hope you had, I hope you had a nice time and you enjoyed it. I'm sure, sorry about your, the oh, leadership. Fran was in the team. entertainment, wasn't he? Fran was the <laughs> entertainment, Dave. It was great. Um, and thanks a million for everybody for tuning in. We should be back with another quiz ahead of the Irish Champions Weekend. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Be lucky. <laughs>